It is easy to add a porch into your designs. The first step in adding a porch is defining the space where the porch will reside. To do this, go up to your railing tools, and I'm going to select the straight railing tool, and then just click and drag a railing approximately where I want the porch to reside. Once the space is enclosed, we form a room. And if you look in the 3D view, you can see that the room has a roof over it, and it has the floor structure already defined. We can modify this room to be more appropriate for a porch by going back to the floor plan view and pressing spacebar to select objects, click in the room, and then in the bottom left hand corner, click on open object. This brings up the room specification. And if you look on the right hand side, there's a graphic for the room heights and how this room is being built. You'll notice that our floor structure is currently 12 and 5 eighths of an inch thick and our framing technique is using floor joists. In the middle, we can specify the room type from the dropdown, and I'm just gonna come down to the porch room type and watch what happens to our floor structure once I select the porch. It's gonna to change to a four inch concrete slab. We can further adjust the floor structure by going to the structure tab on the left-hand side, and down at the bottom here, it says floor structure. If you click on edit, this brings up the floor structure definition. You can see that we're currently using concrete and it's four inches thick, but if you wanted to adjust how thick it is, you can just type in a new value. Additionally, if you wanted to add more layers to this floor structure, you could do so here. I'm gonna click on okay, and you can see how our preview updates. And then next to remove the roof over the room, uncheck this box that says roof over this room and click on okay. And in the 3D view, you can see how this updates. You'll notice that the railings have a different material underneath them following the edge of the porch. We can remove this by adjusting the wall type for these railings. In the floor plan view, I'm gonna hold control and select both the railings. And then in the bottom left-hand corner, select on open object. And then go down to the wall types panel. And here you can see our wall type is an interior railing, but I'm gonna define this to create a new railing type specifically for this porch. So I'm gonna click on define, and then from the wall types definition, I'm gonna click on copy, and then I'm just gonna give our copy a new name. And then down below, you can see that we have two drywall layers, and I'm just gonna delete both of these, and click on okay. And you can see in our preview how that looks. And then I'm just gonna click OK one more time. And back in the plan, you can see how that drywall is removed. The next thing you might wanna do is dimension how far the railings are from the edge of the house. There's multiple ways you can dimension the porch, and I'm gonna dimension it using the temporary dimensions. First, I'm gonna turn on the temporary dimensions by going to View, and then Temporary Dimensions. And then I'm gonna select a railing, and you can see that we get a temporary dimension going from the exterior of the railing to the main layer of the house. And I'm just gonna click on the dimension, type in our new desired value, and press enter on the keyboard. And that's gonna adjust the rail's position. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the rail on the right-hand side. And there we have those rails positioned in the plan. And then I'm just gonna turn off those temporary dimensions since we don't need them anymore by going to view, temporary dimensions. The next thing we need to do if we take a look at a photo of the completed porch is add some concrete supports running along the outer edge. To do this, I'm gonna go back into the plan and I'm gonna go down to our foundation level and draw concrete walls underneath the edge of the porch. To do this in our floor plan view, I'm gonna go down to floor zero. Next, I wanna be able to see an outline as to where the edge of this porch is. To do this, I can turn on the reference display. This is available by going up to Tools, Floor Reference Display, and selecting Reference Display. This will turn on a red outline as to where those porch rails are on the floor above. And then the next thing I need to do is draw a concrete wall following the edge of the porch. To draw a concrete wall, I'm gonna go over to the Wall Tools, and I'm gonna select the option for straight foundation wall, and then just come over the outline and click and drag to place the first wall. 
and then click and drag to place the second wall. And in the 3D view, you can see how those are starting to come in. And we can nudge those into position by selecting the concrete wall. And then just using the arrows on the keyboard to move it so that it's under the edge of the porch and that railing. And once I have it just a little bit underneath that railing, an option becomes available in the bottom toolbar that says align with wall above. And when I select it, it's going to place it directly underneath the edge of our porch. I'm going to do the same thing with the concrete wall on the right. Just select it and just use the arrows on my keyboard to nudge it into position until I get the align with wall above option and then select it. And then I'm just going to adjust it back a little bit. And that's going to complete adding the concrete walls underneath the edge of the porch. And so now that we've got that complete, we can turn off the reference floor display by again going to tools, floor reference, reference display. Going back up to our floor one and taking a look at the completed photo of the porch, the next thing we're going to do is add a small stair section into the design. I'm going to go ahead and make our 3D view our full screen. And to add stairs into the design, I'm going to go up to the stair tool, select straight stairs, and then just come in and click to place a straight stair section along the edge of the porch. And you can see how Chief added that into the plan. And then the next thing I'm going to do is adjust it so that it has a concrete material like the porch and railings coming down the side of it. So I'm going to double click on the stair section. And the first thing we're going to do is increase the width to 60 inches. And then on the left, if we come over to the style panel, here we're going to remove the treads. So I'm going to change the overhang to 0 inches and the thickness to 0 inches. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck these options for open risers and open underneath. The next step is to remove the stringers. So I'm going to go over to the stringers panel and specify that we want no stringers. And then the last step here is to add railings. So I'm going to go over to the railing panel and select railing on left and railing on right and then click on OK. And you can see how that got added to the plan. The next step is adjusting the material to be a matching concrete material. To do this, go up to the material eyedropper tool, select the concrete from the porch, and then just click on the stair section to apply concrete onto the stairs. And the final step is making sure you have the stairs positioned where you want them in the plan. I'm going to make sure that the stairs are centered on our door by pressing spacebar, selecting the stairs, and in the bottom toolbar, selecting the center object tool, coming over to the door, and then clicking once to make sure that the stairs are centered on the door.